Welcome to Meet with the Press, where we'll share food and some stories with notable North Texans. I'm Dallas Morning News reporter Evan Grant. For episode two, shortstop Elvis Andrews of the Texas Rangers joined us at Tender Smokehouse in Frisco, one of two barbecue spots operated by former Major League outfielder Tori Hunter. We'll dish on food, life, baseball, and Girl Scout cookies. I can't believe I'm saying this. You're going into your 12th year. 12th season, man. A dozen. You're at, you're actually a 12-year veteran now. <sighs> no, I, I hate that word. Why? 12-year player. Let's see. That's better. You don't want to be a 12-year vet? Not bad yet. I don't feel like a like a vet. So. I, you, you're, I can't believe you're 31 years old. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been fast. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel as much. It actually feels a lot quicker than that. But uh, it's been it's been amazing 12 years. Yeah. You uh, you ready to eat some food? Yes, of course. I mean, I know that's one of the favorite things in life for you, eating. You love I, to do that. That's so. one of the things that I do well. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, where do you stand on barbecue? I'm a big barbecue, I mean. I've been living here like half of my life, so for sure I love some barbecue. So you like to eat barbecue? Oh, yeah. Because we are here at uh, Tory Hunter's Tender Here's Smokehouse in Frisco. Pretty cool. Are you going to... Your wife is a is a chef, so are yeah, you guys going to open a restaurant when she when you retire? Uh, probably, yeah. That's one really? of the that's one of the family dreams. Uh, you know, right now is not the right time because of the kids. So we're gonna want to give them the most you know attention we can as parents. But uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the dreams for sure in the future. So, uh, on barbecue, what do you like? I mean everything. I mean a brisket. Uh, you know, steak. I literally throw barbecue sauce and everything. Chicken, anything, literally. So, I like it. It just tastes good. It gives a lot of flavor. I'm not a spicy guy, so... You're not? No, so regular barbecue is good for me. So, I noticed that Fan Fest this winter, you brought both kids with you and you sat there with, with both kids on your lap pretty much during the entire time that you signed autographs. You enjoy, like, just getting to spend time with your kids. I mean, it's... Well, yeah, I mean... You know, you found uh, value, or well, I found, you know, how valuable it is for me to have, you know, enjoy with my kids. I literally, like, overdo stuff, like, I take a lot more time. Here we go. You guys have pulled pork right here. This is our brisket. You got lean, you have moist. Coleslaw, potato salad, mac and cheese, and our beans. This is our famous beef rib. Right here, we've got our pork ribs, jalapeno sausage, our regular smoked sausage, and some turkey. So you guys have a little bit of everything to try. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Greg, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We're, uh, You're we're welcome. looking forward to this. Dig in. So you uh, you know the difference on brisket, right? You, when he says moist and, and regular. Well, I guess, yeah. All right, so moist is, is fattier and it's got more taste and it's, it's, it's more tender. Speaking of tender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What up, brother? Doing, man? Wow. Thank you, Thank you for coming you, man. out, man. Good to, I didn't know good to see you, Hunter. not viewed. How nice you doing? You. Good to see you. Good to see you. That was awesome, How can I have a seat? Yeah. Yeah, so what's this I hear about you on a strict diet? Well, you... you yeah, I know. I know you about know about it. it. Yeah, uh, yeah. But this of, is protein. <laughs> it's, yeah, but one of the things that I try to eliminate is like red meat yeah. during the week, and yeah. it helps me a lot because I try to lower, you know, my fat. Yeah. But it's, it's unbelievable, man. This the food is amazing. You mm -hmm. keep trying. Yeah, this cool. one is. The, the brisket's ridiculous. The brisket's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You played here uh, for like 72 years. <laughs> <laughs> I seen I seen you when you was a kid. And you came up and played in this game, and and I always had a smile. I had a great personality. Uh, Love the way you played the game. But your market is here, and uh, you open up a restaurant, Elvis. You, I mean, you don't have a bad rep. You, you treat people with love and respect. Um, I, I think people will support you, and people will be so. willing to come around. This and, guy and be help there every day. I'll be sure. there every day. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be able to film every single day if you want. You're enjoying the food, huh? When do I not wow. enjoy food? I asked Joe. I did this with Joey at one point in time. Joey Gallo. 
and I asked him, how many days a week do I come into the clubhouse with a food stain on my shirt? Every other day. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. You guys yeah. notice it too, yeah. right? Well, that's good, man. That means you're having a good life. It means I'm enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's been your favorite name for me? Oh my God. We have too many. Just call me Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. Oh my goodness. Which that's, I used to do it. Good. I used to say it the wrong way before. Uncle Fester. <laughs> <laughs> Through the years, got better on it, but. Uh, Uncle yeah. Fester. That might be good. But now, Elvis and I actually share a nickname in the clubhouse. What's that? Because Sinchi Chu calls us both Lambon. Lambon. Can you explain to people what Lambon is? Lambon means lame. <laughs> Lambon. <laughs> I don't know if we can say that word in, in camera. <laughs> it, but he means it in a loving way. He does. Oh, yeah. That, well, that's, that's true. We just said song. it on camera. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the one, the, the meaning in Spanish. I'll oh, say okay, okay. It's a little different. Kind of a, kind of like lame. Just kind of, yeah, like, kinda, like kinda, here you go. Close to. Yeah. Kind of suck up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. And, and I think you, you, you know this from your, your experience in your career. The media can sometimes create a narrative, and we did this a little bit. That Elvis had to take over as as a leader, and I don't think that's really who you are. I, I think you've always wanted somebody else to kind of have that role, and then you tried to like fulfill what everybody was saying about you. Yeah, it was a uh, it wasn't easy, like I said. Especially it was more mental than than being myself, because I always being myself, and that's like the piece of cake for me, like being in the clubhouse. <clears throat> You know, communicating with the guy, that's the easy part. Mm -hmm. But like when you put in mental side, like, you know, you don't want to fail. It's like, you know, the guy has been there before me, like Michael and then Adrian. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now I was like, you know, I feel like, okay, I'm, you know, it's some big shoes, you know, you have to fill. So that's why like in the beginning it was a little tough because it was like, I want to be myself, but it's like, okay, I need to like take ownership and like, you know, take the next step. Mm -hmm. So he's like, you know, that's why like I kind of hit myself a few times. And I was like, okay, you know, wake up, like, you know, be positive and let's keep going. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you do that more and more often, more often, it gets to a point that it's like, oh, yeah, you, I got this. I, I got wasn't this. Like, too bad. It wasn't I, too... I, didn't, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, I, so I was like, yeah, I was like, I thought I was gonna drown. I was like, come on, the pool is actually <laughs> it, really it's three feet. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you, you, I think you're a, a leader no matter what. You're a guy who comes out and play every day and. You know, you tried to be on the field every day. I, I, I don't think I seen you take a day off. You know, when, when you were younger and you, you played every day, but you lead by example. Last year, Elvis got off to a good start um, throwing the ball, right? And I said something in Detroit, I think it was, about how good he had thrown the ball, with no throwing errors. He made a throwing error. You know what happened? Right? I jinxed him. It's the second time it happened in my career. And I got uh, the first time was in Toronto. Remember? Yeah. I'm like 60. I think everybody was making an error. And then he said something. And, he, yeah. and, and they tried it for a week, and I say, if you're gonna talk about it, and even mention, I'm, I'm out. They didn't say that day was like 50 something, 60 game or something, and they have to, right? So I'm like, we talk about it, and he was like, I, of course. I got they, put in timeout for a week. He wouldn't. Yeah. He wouldn't answer the yeah, for a week. I didn't talk to him for a week. So what's your favorite? Everything was good, but the moist, uh, the moist one was amazing. The brisket, the moist brisket. Yeah, I was money. Well, guys, man, I want to thank you guys for coming out to Tender Smokehouse and and uh, bringing my, one of my favorite guys, Elvis Andrews, out to the restaurant. And um, and anytime you want to come, Elvis, you know we got a seat for you. So please come back anytime you want. Text me. We got you a table. Thank you, brother. All right. So I brought Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> of course you You're going to rate Girl Scout cookies. Okay. So we have, I think I have five flavors of Girl Scout cookies here. These are Samoas. These are toffee plastic. These are gluten free, so they're healthy, so you can eat lots of them. But they have toffee, they're like toffee chips. These are healthy too. That's right, because they have peanut butter and yeah. protein. <laughs> I, I like where you're coming from. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> And then we have the Thin Mints. Those were always my favorite when I was growing up. We also have the new cookies. These are Lemon Up. So we're gonna taste these cookies and you're gonna rate them one through five. You went to, you went to Paris with the Beltres? Yeah, we went to London. Uh, we went to Bath, which is in the middle of London, and uh, in Paris, and then we took the train 
the, the one that's super fast to all the way to Paris. And we were there like three days. I was training, right? And Adrian, I remember, you know, we used to say late at night, you know, like having some wine, just talking, uh, you know, about life. Because I always love, you know, being around Adrian and Sandra. And like me and Corey, you know, being, you know, such a young uh, couple now, being married a couple years. Nah, he's like, for us, like, okay, like, you guys been married, like, plus 20 years. I was like, so he was like, okay, what do you guys think about this and this and that? So he's always good, uh, you know, when we get a, <clears throat> the opportunity to talk to them, uh, you know, with some wine, for sure. So they were talking, right, the whole night, talking and talking and talking. So when I tell him, he was like, hey, dude, like, you know, I have to wake up tomorrow. Because we have, like, like at 6.30 in the morning, like, tours and like we were in London we went to see you know the the tower the, you know, the, the Buckingham Palace and all the uh, all their amazing uh, storage uh, places to go and visit uh, so I was like okay I was like thinking of the well I have to wake up like literally five in the morning go work out for an hour and then you know get ready and be on time <clears throat> as soon as I say that you know Adrian's face he went like Cause he knew you're not gonna he get knew, up. Yeah, he's like, you're not, you're not waking up. Like I know you, I'll play with you. You're not doing. It. I was like, I do it. So we actually we were sharing a, a suite, a large suite in London, and uh, I did. I wake up. I remember I work out two times. I work out Monday. I work out Wednesday uh, for the week, full, full body. And I wake up five in the morning, like four forty-five. Shower, uh, train at five, all the way to six get back, shower again, and be ready, you know, for breakfast and then go to the tours. And like, after the first two times, he was really impressed. He was like, well, yeah, he took, you know, he took you for me to retire <laughs> to start doing the right things now. But uh, it was it was good. It was a good, really it was an amazing trip before spring training. All right, so you've had them all now. Okay, yes. So give me your favorite. Yeah, uh, give me your least favorite. My least favorite? This one, the tofu. Okay, next. And then I'll go to, I'll go, I changed I change my mind. I'll go two with the lemon one. Uh-huh. Go three with the mint. Four, coconut was really good. You like the coconut? Yeah. <laughs> and five. Five the tagalongs. Mm-hmm. All right. This is supposed to be done with a deck of cards. Um, <laughs> I left the deck of cards at home. <laughs> But what we have here is we have some questions. It's a lightning round, okay? Who plays your love interest in a movie? Uh, Denzel Washington. No, not your your <laughs> love interest. <laughs> not <laughs> you. Oh, who, I thought you said it. <laughs> okay, my bad. Uh, who plays I mean, Corey we, in the movie? Okay, who plays? Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson, yes. okay. Uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? This is, you know, this is a tough one. <laughs> I, I, I believe sandwiches have to be on bread or round roll, rolls. They cannot be on a bun. So I say a hot dog is not a sandwich. Okay. Now, who plays you in the movie? <laughs> Here we go. Denzel. Denzel. Why? Why? Good looking, great actor. I mean. All right. Well, at least you're humble. It's hard for me to say Brad Pitt, you know. <laughs> Unless you go tan for like a month. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> if you were a dog, what bread would you be? What kind of dog would I be? I would be, um, I would, but I think you know me and you know that I love the University of Georgia, so I would be a bulldog. Yes, I was going to say that. That'd be perfect. <laughs> what skill outside of your current profession would you most like to be able to master? Music, like play instruments. Can you play any instrument? I play a few. Uh, I used to be better when I was younger, and I, you know, practiced a lot. But you know, like guitar, drums. Uh, favorite rapper. Favorite rapper. <laughs> uh, my favorite rapper. I, you know, my favorite rap is probably as old school as you can get. It's Sugar Hill Gang, oh um, and. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Rapper's Delight. I love it. Uh, I heard it 1979. I wasn't here yet. You weren't here. I wasn't um, here. But I still love it. <clears throat> I I guess the guy that 
contemporaries, and you're, you're gonna laugh when I tell you this, but probably Flo Rida. Okay. Is it's that pretty acceptable? Good. Yeah, it is pretty Who is yours? Bad Bunny? Uh, yes. I mean, yeah, if you put him on the rapper, okay. you know, uh, type of music, but I would say Snoop Dogg. I'm you like Snoop? Good, yeah. Okay. Always chill, always nice. All right, so did you enjoy lunch? It was good, man. Good food, good talking. Always interesting talking to you. All right, that was it. Thank you, brother. Thanks, man.